Hi, I'm Unknown Forlore, and today I'm making another random review. Um, I didn't know what to review today, so I kind of asked my brothers on their opinion, and they told me to review one of the to make a tribute to one of the best Sega characters, and I guess kind of guessed that from my shirt. And I guess I'm reviewing Sonic Adventure. I mean, Sonic Adventure 2 was cool, but this one was the one that led up to Sonic Adventure 2. I really like this game. The reason I'm talking about this is because, well, Sega hasn't been doing too good so far. I mean, not Sonic games aren't as good as they used to, like, like the Sonic, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Xbox 360 was alright, I guess. Sonic, Sonic and the Secret Ring, not so good. But, I really do like this game because of the gameplay. I thought it was going to be sucky when I heard that Sonic was going 3D again. I thought it was like 3D Blast all over again, but this game proved me wrong. I do like the stages, I really do like the challenges. I mean, I like Knuckles, like, looking for the Master Emerald and all the cool power-ups you get to find, cool items. All of them were cool. I mean, you get to play a six character, that's Knuckles, Tails, Sonic, Big the Cat, Gamma, and Aim. Gamma was one of my favorite characters because he's like a kick-ass robot. Each of them had cool gameplay, unique gameplay, except for Big Cat. I didn't really like fishing. The, I wasn't a big fan of fishing games. But, it still kind of made its own fun element, like trying to look for the frog. And the ending is pretty cool. I really like this game. See, if you're a big Sega fan, I recommend getting this. I mean, sure, but not the greatest hits game, the original one. Not the, I mean... The GameCube one if you if you want to, but this is the best. If you're a hardcore Sonic fan and or Sega fan or Dreamcast fan, whichever you prefer, I suggest buying this because this is really cool. Sonic Adventure is one of the best games I ever played. I really like, do like Mario and Sonic, but the crossovers weren't too good. Except for Super Smash Bros. I'm just saying that well Sega's been going kinda downhill and I wish, I wish, I sure hope so that Sega gets back up on its feet and starts making good games like Sonic Adventure right here. Well, if I give this a rating, I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10. Because I'm a big Sonic and Nintendo fan. I mean, I just like their gameplay. They're freaking awesome. And there's a link down below of a cool music video that, well, kind of gives you, with the theme song, kind of gives you a, you know, kind of how I think of it that way. Well, I'm on for signing off.